I'm Anna Olson, and I'm host of Bake with Anna Olson on the Asian Food Channel. My career in the culinary arts started actually in a roundabout way. Uh, it was a second career choice for me. I studied political science at university, I went into banking, but my entire life from when I was small, cooking was my favorite hobby, passion. After school every day, I would cook with family members. I would cook for anyone who would eat what I would make. Uh, but it took actually learning through other career paths that actually cooking was what I wanted to pursue professionally. Oh, it's hard to choose my favorite thing about baking, but I do take great satisfaction from that the technique, the fact that you have to respect how ingredients come together to achieve a certain result. You can take butter, sugar, eggs, and flour, and it's just the way you treat them, even in the same quantities, achieves completely different results. And that gives you such creative control as a chef. So I like the fact that it's methodical, but creative at the same time. I'm glad I got two desserts to choose. Um, one of my favorites is actually what we're serving here at Abrajaya University College tonight. It's my signature warm chocolate orange truffle tarts, chocolate pastry shell with a warm fondant filling. But I'd have to say my other favorite is a true Canadian dessert. It's a butter tart, yeah, a flaky it's... pastry with a sweet, sweet, sweet filling. I would advise students venturing as they're just starting out after school to spend at least a year working at a high-end hotel property. Even if their intention is not to become a hotel chef, the, the fabulous hotels here in Southeast Asia offer in their kitchens everything from baking, confectionery, butcher shops, um, all the different styles of preparations, fine dining, room service, banquets, that it's a great way to get to know what area you'd like to specialize in, but also these big hotels offer such good training that it looks so good on your resume to have a Four Seasons Hotel or a St. Regis or a Berjaya just to know that you've got the experience. I would have to say, especially to be a good pastry chef, you need patience. It's a very deliberate skill, so you can't uh, be in a hurry to be a pastry chef and get good results. But as a chef, to be a leader means listening as much as you talk. I have enjoyed uh, quite a few tastes of Malaysian desserts. Kue lapis is really something special. I love the, the texture and I've really got a taste for gula malaka. Um, that palm sugar has its own special caramel taste that's delicious and I love the kue lapis that has the gula malaka and the chopped peanuts in it and then kaya is another favorite. Um, I love coconut and at home we don't get young coconut and so anytime I see young coconut on a dessert menu or any menu I have to order it. Berjaya University College is fantastic. You've got a wonderful facility here uh, from the coffee lounge to the wine tasting room, the best equipment, uh, but I think what's most important that I've observed is the faculty are attentive, they're guiding, coaxing the best out of the students. So this is, this is the future of, well, this is Malaysia's culinary future and it's, it's a good one. I'm so grateful to my fans here in Malaysia and their appreciation of all things sweet and baked, so I plan on baking more for you. It's a real treat to be here.